Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Bick Benedict. We are continuing our campaign through uh, Titan mode difficulty in God of War 2. So, as you saw a moment ago, I slashed at the uh, the uh, the the barriers that were preventing this rock from being um, cast down. Now, I just want to hop over here, and uh, this is actually a really well concealed chest that I'm going to be accessing in a moment. Um, this is really well concealed. Uh, Sometimes there is uh, like an indication that a that a rock can be broken, um, but there is really no indication there. So um, very tricky rock. So uh, what you want to do is uh, hop onto that uh, st area where it's steaming and use your uh, wings to fly up. Now this section here, you can actually uh, do a. Uh, I imagine if you wanted to, you can just kill hornets indefinitely over here too if you want to exploit this area for um, red orbs um, and not kill the hornet's nest. I think after a while uh, if you kill um, as I think there are a finite number of hornets actually my mistake but uh, if you wanted to do that just uh, kill all the hornets without uh, uh, destroying any of the uh, the wasps nests the uh, those holes that I'm slashing out right now because those the, that those are the uh, spawn producing areas for these uh, what I think are just some kind of uh, nymph, nymphs or something some kind of a aerial aerial enemy um, you just want to remember smash everything here um, it's not really required but it's probably gonna give you some difficulty as you're doing these uh, these uh, grappling these traver traversing the the ceiling area. Um, So in the next video, I get my Chronos' Rage up to level 3, the final level. So I still, um, like I said before in a previous video, still only have the Blades of Chaos up to level 3. So I've never really done it this way. I've usually upgraded the Blades of Chaos uh, first, got that up to level 4, and then um, and then get Chronos' Rage. So I'm doing it a bit differently this time. I'm still going to be upgrading the Blades up to level 5. There's, there's ample orbs to do that um, there's just there's not enough orbs in this game to upgrade every single item so you really have to select which ones you want to focus on um, so the ones that I'm not going to be focusing on are going to be the the bow and arrow um, the head of your Uriel um, the uh, the spear of destiny and uh, that's the, the, those three are pretty much I'm going to avoid upgrading those unless I've upgraded all the other ones and I have some extra ones um, it, it, it really it really would be nice to be able to upgrade everything and I don't think I've ever played this game where I've actually been able to upgrade everything so um, it's just uh, kind of a drawback in my opinion it would be nice to see how everything is uh, how all the items work at their uh, strongest powers um, so make sure you grab those chests and then just fly over here and up ahead of ways we're going to be actually actually getting another one of the collectibles so um, watch for that and this is going to be a pretty brief um, video. And then uh, the next video is going to be the Ascension of Atlas. So uh, some, some good times ahead to be sure. So uh, just hop on up here. And uh, this is also, also a really well hidden item over here. Um, the stalactite here. You need to chop this thing down. And then um, there's one side of it. One side of that square that you can actually go on. Um, it's, it's other it's otherwise blocked so just uh, and the also the enemies won't spawn until you hit the other stalactite um, but there's a, there's a chest here and a, another one with the, with the urn in it so uh, let's see how much orbs I get here um, I don't think that was many orbs no that probably wasn't very many um, but these are all urns urns you activate in bonus play so head on down here once you um, destroy this stalactite then the uh, the undead um, soldiers up here um, these are these are the guys straight out of uh, Typhon's uh, cavern area in the very beginning of the game um, there's no upgrades to this guy to these guys at least not here anyway they're just the same guys and uh, once again I'm just grabbing you know grab and go it's the way to, it's the way it's really the way the way to move on this game um, so just kill everything break all the destroyable objects um, try to get combo points uh, you know do 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 your thing <laughs> so I'm gonna be uh, 
doing my part to help you guys uh, clear the game. And uh, someone asked me if you get a trophy for beating Titan Mode, and the answer is no. There's no trophy. Um, but uh, that shouldn't stop you from, from trying to rise to the challenge here and, and beat this mode. Um, so you could, uh, you know, bragging rights. It's, it's all about bragging rights. Um, plus, this is just pure fun. I mean, this is uh, absolute fun. And uh, uh, so we're going to get a, uh, a transitional scene here. And then we're going to head on back to the save point. So uh, that's the area we need to go. <clears throat> and that's the actual part where you ascend. Um, so you want to slash at these... Uh, these items, items. <laughs> you want to slash with those objects there, and then um, head on over to where I'm heading, um, towards the camera, and then just fall down. Hop over there, save it, um, uh, get some health because we're not going to be returning here. No need to save it, and then um, jump over here, and then allow these steam to uh, propel you upwards. And then we're going to be facing uh, what what is actually a pretty difficult battle over here. Um, so my approach to this upcoming battle is to uh, immediately um, petrify the Hades Legionnaire who pops up here. Um, I just do that right off the bat. Um, we're going to be dealing with these guys here and also some Hades um, uh, Harpies. So um, you saw how powerful that was. I got him petrified and then I used the Barbarian Hammer and one hit killed him. So um, it's only a level 2, that Barbarian Hammer. Um, but I'm just going to town here with the uh, with the Kronos' Rage. Um, there's no real reason you shouldn't have your magic at this point. I mean, there should be no reason that you don't have any magic here. Um, there hasn't been any, any real need for it. Um, this part's just difficult whenever you have these uh, these Harpies, these Hades Harpies, along with these uh, Legionnaires, uh, these Hades Legionnaires. So... Uh, Basically, you just want to kind of, if you don't have magic, just kind of avoid them. See, I have no magic at this point, so um, this tactic here is going to be what you need to do if you don't have any magic from the outset. But uh, like I said, once again, you should have everything. Now, try never to waste your magic and always try to always conserve your Rage of the Titans. Normally, in regular battles, it's just not, it's never needed. I mean, I, I don't ever need it. Um, it's just a waste. Um, so always save it just in case uh, a boss battle requires it. Um, definitely do that, so. Um, uh, I had a difficult time lifting these uh, leg uh, these Hades Legionnaires up. Um, so I'm not sure if they are immune to that or what. Maybe I was just doing it and they blocked. I'm not really sure. Um, but uh, there are a finite number of these Hades Harpies, so just uh, just keep, keep rolling around. Uh, the Legionnaires, they're not very aggressive, um, so... Um, probably should have been using the hammer on those guys, but whenever you got those uh, those birds in the in the sky, you've got to keep dodging, so it's just not feasible with the hammer. Um, so nice, we took care of those guys, and now we just need to turn this crank here. And this is on a timer, so uh, once you release it, it's going to uh, you're on a, it, There's no visible timer, but you just need to make your way across the the gulf um, as quickly as possible um, using the uh, the wings, the Icarus wings. Um, and then the save points on the other side. So uh, that is a video I will be seeing you at the Ascension of Atlas. So everybody take care and uh, uh, thank you for watching very much.